today I am reviewing the CC Rider Extended Reach Gel Seat. It is a seat meant for taller riders, but I'm a shorter rider. So why would I get this seat? Today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about this seat. We're doing 100 miles today, and we're gonna just see the comfort, the reach, if they say, if, if what they say on their website is what's actually real. And um, we gonna get into this CC Rider Extended Reach Gel Seat. So based on this side by side right here, this is definitely already looking promising. I tried to make them as equal as possible and I can tell this one is a little bit further back and it's definitely wider. And you know, I'm thinking of hips, so a wider seat is definitely welcome. So let's go ahead and put this thing on. Y'all know I'm not about to sit in the garage and talk to y'all about a seat. So let's get some miles together and let's really see what this seat is about. Let's go. All right, y'all, so I am on the bike. We out here riding. I got out here a little early so I could try to beat the heat. But honestly, it is really nice outside. Anyway, let's get to the point. I am sitting on my new CC Rider seat. It is a gel extended seat, um, taller rider friendly. Yep, that's what I said, tall rider friendly. I'm a shorty make shortster. I'm 5'5", five five, and I'm sure you're wondering why I decided to get an extended reach seat. Well, the, the answer is simple. Um, a seat that sits me back further is what I'm used to at the end of the day. So I am riding on a Road Glide, 2021 Road Glide Special. I just sold or got rid of my 2019 Kawasaki Vaquero. And that bike, you know, I did over, I, when, I, when I sold it, I had 48,000 miles. That plus my first two bikes, I have well over 50,000 miles, lifetime miles. And all of those miles have been on stock seats. So I guess my review is coming from the standpoint of somebody who A, has been riding on stock seats for over 50,000 miles and be somebody who is a shorter rider, 5'5", five five, who decided to get a taller rider friendly seat to push them back. So that is where this review, is. that perspective is where we're coming from. So let's talk about the feel of the seat. It's very comfortable. Now what I did was I sat on my old seat, my stock seat, then I slept on it for a couple days. I put the CC rider seat on and then I swung my leg over the bike and sat down and it is an immediate difference um, for the better. So I'm definitely getting what I wanted, which is sitting further back on the bike. I love that. And um, I have to extend my legs a little bit further to reach these highway pegs. I think I said that, I might've said that in a previous clip, but I don't know. When I get home and edit, y'all will, will know. So what I decided to do is last weekend, I took this exact same route to go to the Allegheny Mountains. And what I did on that trip was I took note of how many miles I rode before I started feeling my behind. Like before I started feeling uncomfortable. And that number was 75 miles. Yep, 75 miles on the stock seat. Um, it was a mixture of my legs getting a little stiff um, because I don't have that, that reach that I'm used to. And it was also um the comfort of the seat it just like my butt was hurting <laughs> i mean ain't no other way to say it my butt was hurting so that was 75 miles so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that exact same route i'm going to ride about 75 to 100 miles down this route and we're going to see if the the seat does justice i will say it does lift me up a little bit so my feet are not as close to the ground as they were before but it's okay because i have boots with a hill on them but even still it is nowhere near how it was the first day that i rode the vaquero like i was tiptoeing in my jordan like it was just tiptoe 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 so yeah it's been so far so good anyway let's get up on down this road and i will check back in with you guys to let you know how the seat is good at doing
Okay, you guys. So I am uh, 27 plus 15, 42. So I have eight more miles, 10 more miles until I'm gonna turn around. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, so I wanna just talk about my reach with my arms. Um, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I don't know what these bars are. <laughs> I think they're 12 inches because they're about the same height as my last, my other bars off my Vaquero, but these came with the bike and um, I have not adjusted them. I have been trying, but I've been having an issue with this little tab to get this little thing off. So I don't know what's up with that, but if I can't figure it out, I'm going to take it to a shop to get them to adjust my bars because I can, I'm not trying to break the tab and I've been watching videos and they keep saying, Make sure you don't break the tab, but anyway, my reach. So my arms are fully extended. This is how I would like to sit, like kind of like back here, but um, it's not, like I would like to be about right here. So I need to roll my bars back so that uh, I can get that position, but right now I'm, I'm hunched over. And you can imagine that's kind of uncomfortable. So the seat, makes the reach farther but the handlebars can be adjusted so that is good so i like it um we're at 50 miles well not yet but you know we're creeping on 50 miles and um the comfort i can't feel anything i don't feel anything like i don't feel the need to shift I don't feel the need to put put my legs in Superman mode. Like I don't, like I mean, I just, it feels like a seat. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. Um, on the stock seat, usually between like 50 to 75 miles, that's when I start to feel it. Like it's not super discomfort, but it's like, I need to shift a little bit, you know, to get a, a better position. But this, this, um, this feels, feels decent. Now, CC Rider is a budget seat um, company. So if you're looking for a seat that's comfortable, but won't break the budget, this one is about half the price of a seat um, with similar, similar features, extended reach, gel seat, a tall rider friendly, you know. So CC Rider, I appreciate you for letting me review this seat. It is definitely giving especially from somebody who's ridden stock for 50,000 miles. I like it, y'all. I like it, I'm not mad at it. It's a wider seat, so you know, more of my butt is cushioned. So yeah, I'm only gonna bring y'all the real, so I like it, it was it was worth it. So thank you, CC Rider. Um, now I need to get a backrest, <laughs> cause I can't use my other backrest. So I'm gonna get that backrest and we'll see, but I'm gonna get a few more miles and we're about to turn this thing around. So let's get it. All right, y'all. So we are about to turn around. second half of our journey <laughs> this is the last 50 miles back home and so far so good um i don't feel my behind at all um i haven't had to adjust of course i you know tried to do my superman just to see how the position was and it worked out great so i'm cool so let's get about 20 well let's get home and then uh let's talk about it let's talk about it It got really hot outside but nonetheless we're gonna review the cc rider extended reach gel seat so here's the seat here it's very nice and here are my ratings for it now as i go into my ratings here's the perspective okay just keep things in mind while you listen to these ratings a shorter rider and somebody who this is their first time having an aftermarket seat and i'm so excited thank you cc rider so as far as comfort is concerned i rate this a nine out of 10. Um, I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 just because it was only a hundred miles. I rode it a, a few miles the other day, but for this ride, I didn't feel any discomfort. Um, like I said in the video, 
around like the 75 to 100 mile mark that's when i start to feel discomfort not like where my butt is like oh my god i can't take it but like discomfort where i gotta you know shift on the bike a little bit readjust my legs and all that good stuff so these 100 miles i rode today nine out of ten as far as the extended reach, because that was the main reason why I wanted this seat was to sit me back further. On the website, they say that the seat actually sits you back one to one and a half inches. And that is definitely the case. So in the terms of extended reach, I would give this seat a 10 out of 10. Hands down, 10 out of 10. It did what it was supposed to do, it sits me back further. My Superman position is way more comfortable to get to and to maintain, so love it lastly the ease of install because anytime you get a new part you you wonder like do i need to take this to a shop to get put on or can i put this on myself you can absolutely put this on yourself it was very easy it comes with a little piece that you put under the seat and then that is what will bolt down on the back so for installation 10 out of 10 15 out of 10 20 out of 10 your little your little cousin sister could do this okay it's it was really simple so with all that being said, I would like to just give another thank you and a shout out to CC Rider for allowing me to review their seat. And it's great. I love it for a budget seat for somebody who, you know, is just trying to, you know, get an aftermarket seat to give them a little bit more comfort for those longer rides. I would definitely suggest it. So y'all stay tuned. I would definitely keep you updated on how this ride is going, especially when I go out onto my longer trips. But for today's video and this review, CC Rider, you got my vote. So with all that being said, thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for rolling with me. And until next time for the next ride, bye y'all.